In this video on geometry of two-dimensional shapes grade 8, we start off by classifying triangles. Geometry is the section of mathematics where we start off with points, which we can connect to form line segments, and two connected line segments will then form an angle. Many different connected angles will in the end form polygons. We are going to focus on a specific one of these polygons called a triangle. A triangle consists of three angles and three sides. When classifying triangles, we can have a look at the angle sizes or the side lengths. When we classify according to the angle sizes, we focus on the biggest angle inside the triangle. At the moment, the biggest angle in this triangle is smaller than 90 degrees and is called an acute angle. All of these angles at the moment are acute. Something like this we will then call an acute angled triangle. In the blue triangle, the biggest angle is measured at 87 degrees, which is smaller than 90 and therefore an acute angled triangle. Next up, we have an angle of 90 degrees. If the biggest angle in a triangle is exactly 90 degrees, we call it a right angled triangle. And when we make that angle even bigger, so bigger than 90 degrees, it is called an obtuse angle and the triangle with the biggest angle being bigger than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angled triangle. If we now move to classification using the side lengths, I'm going to start off with a triangle where all three sides have different lengths. This is called a scalene triangle. In a scalene triangle, all the angle sizes also differ. Next up, we're going to have a look at a triangle where two of the three sides have equal lengths. This is called an isosceles triangle. And here we have our two equal sides. If we have a look at the angles of such a triangle, you will see that the two angles that are straight across from the two equal sides will also be equal in size. The last triangle will be one where all three sides have the same length. This is called an equilateral triangle. And in such a triangle, you will see that all three of the angles also have the same size. This size is exactly 60 degrees, because later on you will also learn that the sum of the three interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. Example, classify each of the following triangles. In triangle ABC, you will notice that two of the three side lengths are the same. So we can call this an isosceles triangle. If we now have a look at the angle sizes, you will see that the biggest angle in this triangle is smaller than 90 degrees, so that is an acute angle. Triangle ABC will therefore be an isosceles acute angled triangle. In triangle DEF, all three side lengths differ, so this is a scalene triangle. If we look at the biggest angle, you will see that this is bigger than 90 degrees and therefore an obtuse angle. So triangle DEF is a scalene obtuse angled triangle. In the next video, we're going to have a look at some more properties of triangles.